Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have interesting news that would actually make me want to sleep and pee my pants. And this is because the folks at Side Effects and Epic Games, they are cuddling. They're cuddling really good because Epic Games just invested in Side Effects. By far, this is one of the most interesting news that I've gotten all weekend and all week. And this is very, very lovely. Owing to the fact that these two companies care about the community that they serve, they care about the developers, they care about the creators. This is just beautiful. This is not the first time we're seeing side effects or Epic Games doing something for their community. First off, Epic Games has been known for a long time for being a major investor in a lot of things. With the Epic Grants and also with helping developer companies and also very tiny indie companies to get their dreams out, Epic Games have championed a lot of things over the years. And needless to say that Epic Games by far is one of the best platforms that has taken care of the community as a whole and has also given back to them. We have also seen a couple of updates from them in terms of their Unreal Engine. As Unreal Engine, without any doubt, is the most powerful real-time 3D application out there. At the same time, we've also seen that the folks at Epic Games have constantly made things for free for artists and also for indies by making free marketplace content for them to get. And we've also seen a couple of investments. And I'm talking about huge investment. The development fund that was given to Blender was a huge one. And they've also been there for a very long time. And this has also pushed and also made other developers to join in. And Epic Games has been doing something really good that it has also made companies like AMD try to invest and see how they can also help developers. We've also seen Epic Games give out grants to several tools, for example, the Godot engine, which is also a gaming engine, but you know, they don't really care that much. So they have to throw in some money right there. This is an open source engine, by the way, and they still found it very interesting to invest in these guys. Over time, we've also seen a huge long list of investments that they've done. These are actually grants and not investments, by the way, but it's investments when you look at it from the point that the developers are actually doing what the money is meant for. So it's very interesting to see that they're not just doing this, but today we are seeing that they are investing in side effects, creators of Houdini. And this is interesting because Houdini has also served the community in its own ranks. So the question is, will Houdini and folks at Epic Games, are they going to share IP? Are they going to share resources, delegates and stuff? But then that also raises questions of what is the mode of investment as there is literally no paper out there that has stated the forms and all of the things that is required for the public to know what kind of investment they are doing. Are they going to share IP or not? These are things that are yet to be debatable. Although within the past forum, we got to see that one of the staff, Chris Burt, actually address certain questions. One of the questions is, does this investment include any sharing of IP between side effects and Epic? And he said, no, it doesn't. And maybe you might also be wondering, uh, do we get to see the delegates and ROPs? And he said, possibly, but the agreement doesn't change their roadmap or ours. So the two companies are just the way they are building stuff, but with a bit of an investment from the folks at Epic Games. And this is very, very nice. And it still secures the position of Kim Davison as he remains the majority owner of Side Effects as well as the president and CEO. So it's just a very nice time to actually see that these things are coming together. And the both of them do share a couple of things in common. Their tool sets are free. They have tons and tons of free assets. The same thing goes for Epic Games and their Unreal Engine. And something else which is also very interesting from these two companies is that most of their tools and also resources that they're issuing out, most of them are for free. So you can literally dive in head deep and start working with them. They give artists the attention that they need. They add huge and interesting updates to whatever tool set that they're creating. And they also take feedback seriously. So it's good to see that Houdini 18.5 is coming out. So just in case you want to try that right now, it's a good time for you to get it. And for those who are feeling excited and want to try out, you know, Unreal Engine, you can literally go in there, get Unreal Engine for free and play with any of the assets that has been given out before now or work with any of the tutorials that has been made totally for free for your personal use. And of course, if you want to see most of the assets that were covered within this month or that was issued out within this month, link is in the description for you to check this out. And this is a wonderful time 
to see this kind of news come to life. So for most persons that don't know, you can literally use Houdini for both film and games. So Houdini has invested a lot in terms of creating procedural assets and you know game ready tools that you can use Houdini for. And most of these tools are heavily used in the creation of games in both Unity and Unreal Engine. On the other hand, we've also seen Unreal Engine invest in a whole lot in terms of real time, film, games, and so on and so forth. So once it has to do with things that you can work with these two tools, despite the fact that you can grab a copy for free, you can literally get in and start creating stuff regardless of what aspect of 3d or what aspect of you know creative design or entertainment that you're looking at tell me what you guys think about this investment and also tell me what you think about these two companies in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace